uh, in the session we are going to learn how do we deploy mysql instance or uh, mysql on uh, ec2 and we are going to use the rhel8 image so the prerequisite is you need to have an access to aws console so that uh, and you should have proper uh, iam privileges or you should be logged in as root which is not preferred to create an ec2 instance so we'll see what all are we going to do in this demo. So we are going to launch an RHEL uh, EC2 instance, and then we will create a security group so that we can connect remotely to that EC2 instance. And uh, and uh, in the inbound uh, in the inbound security group of uh, of that we will allow 3306, which is the default port. And uh, then we will create uh, one of the uh, MySQL user through which we will try to connect remotely. So for this demo, there is a private key which is already uh, stored on my system and we are going to use that so that we can connect through the putty. So let's let's initiate it. So we are uh, we are on the AWS console. So I'm logged into EC2 dashboard. I'm just going to launch an instance. So just to uh, uh, make sure that I launch uh, the, okay, let me, sometimes it is really slow. So I'm clicking uh, for free tier instance. It's coming up sometimes it takes time to load. So it's loading up. Uh, this should come up okay <clears throat> excuse me so uh, we are going to uh, launch an ec2 instance so which is uh, uh, linux 8 so i'll just go and say select and we are going to choose the t2 micro which is free tier elig eligible and then we'll say next configure instance storage we are not going to change anything on the default page so everything will remain as such and we are not going to create a new vpc which is uh, which is required when you install your database in uh, in ec2 instance and we are not going to do this for this demo so we'll say add a storage We'll continue with the 10 GB of storage, which is more than sufficient for this demo. Just say add tags. We are not going to add tag. And then we will say configure security group. So we'll say this security group is for uh, MySQL. And uh, we have to use two port 22 and 3306. And this is on EC2 just to give an idea like what this security group is doing so you need to ensure that when you connect through the putty you should have the ssh uh, uh, enabled and uh, i'll say just uh, my ip and then we will add the rule for uh, the mysql port as well so just in the drop down select for the mysql here it is 3306 my IP so it is going to pick up that next review and launch and then we will say launch so we are going to uh, use the existing uh, key which is already installed on my system so it's been initiated and in uh, in a minute or so it is it will be uh, it will be coming up This is in the pending state. So what we need to do is, uh, once it is up and running, we need to just select and uh, we need to select the public IP so that we can connect to, uh, to the to it using the uh, putty. So I'm just going to select it. Any moment this should be available up and running. This is running, this is initializing, so let's wait for it. In the meantime, what I will do is, uh, I will open the putty session and I will put it over here. Okay. And we need to locate uh, the private key location. 
so I'll give the private key location and we'll say but still initializing so let's give a few more seconds this should be ready initializing initializing let's go through what we are going to do is uh, once we are connected to the putty session we will again uh, go and uh, we'll check uh, everything is fine or not so it should be up and running now oops sometimes it takes a lot of time initializing I'll wait for a few more seconds okay this is everything is fine now let's go back to the putty session a new session this is the public host and then we will locate uh, the keys so we have located the private keys so this should work now the user is ec2 hyphen user we are able to log in now let's follow this step by step to uh, install mysql 8.0 so you can do sudo yum update that that is going to take some time so we are just for this demo we are going to avoid it so we will say sudo dnf and install mysql 8.0 so let's do that once this is done we will say sudo systemctl enable mysql d So it is uh, downloading the required RPMs and other dependencies. So it is saying whether you wanted to continue or not. So I just entered yes. So it should be up and running at any moment. Yes, come up. Okay, this is done. Now let's say sudo systemctl enable uh, mysql d. So we are going to enable it. And finally, we will check the status. You can see the status is uh, running. Now the next step, we are going to secure the mysql installation. So MySQL secure installation that will ask whether uh, validate the password component. So we'll say yes, we want it to continue. For this demo, we are saying uh, make the password validation policy as minimum one low. So we'll say zero. Then we will enter the root password. So I'm entering root password okay let me enter it once again yes do you wish to continue with the password provided we'll say yes and remove uh, anonymous user we'll say yes uh, disallow root login remotely we will say yes and then we will re-enable it remove test databases yes uh, reload privileges will say yes so everything is done now we will try to log in as root user 
on the EC2 instance, which is MySQL database admin user. So if you say show databases, it will show you there are these are the system databases. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create a user admin who should be able to connect from any system which is there in the network. So we have created the user, create user admin at the rate percentage. That means anything which is in the network, it should be able to connect. Then we will grant all the privileges on all the objects in, in MySQL. So we have given that and then finally we will flush the privileges. And what we will do is we will check the users and from where they they can log into this environment. So we'll simply say uh, select user comma host from MySQL dot user. So you can see there is an admin user who can uh, log in from anywhere. Root will be able to log in from localhost only. So you have something called as my.cnf, uh, which is the configuration file in MySQL. So by default, uh, these open source uh, relational databases, they, they disallow the remote login. So in that case, uh, you need to make sure that the configuration file has a, a, a parameter, which is called as bind underscore address. You need to make sure that uh, it is the local host entry should be replaced by the actual IP of the host. In case you have uh, many um, virtual IPs on that, then you need to make sure those, those are added properly. Now what we are going to do is we have seen that uh, we are able to log in. Now let's remove the SC Linux. That creates sometimes the problem. So we'll say sudo vi and we'll disable the SC Linux. And we'll ensure that it is in the disabled state. This is disabled. We need to reboot it. So this will be rebooted. So this is going to take at least a minute or so. Once it is done, we will try to log in through the MySQL workbench. So we will create new connection. So what's important about launching any uh, database instance in EC2, it's, it's the security group. Launching any image from EC2, it's very, very easy. That's of no importance at all. The only thing which will be of importance is how do you handle the connectivity? So in this case, we know EC2, you have the control, uh, complete control over the SSH and the operating system. In that case, when you configure your uh, security group ensure that the port number 22 which is ssh uh, port you should allow your uh, access from a remote server or wherever you wanted in 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 your in our case i'm doing it from my system so i mentioned that ip address and another is we are going to configure or we are trying to access mysql from mysql workbench so MySQL has the default port of 3306. So I have ensured in the security group in bound rule has port number 22 and 3306 enabled. And I have given the IP address from where I'm going to log into that EC2 instance. So this is very, very important. The third important thing is MySQL database user. So this is uh, one of the important thing in MySQL. When you create a database, you need to bind it either to particular host. It may be your local host. It may be your remote host, or it may be all the, the host in your in environment. So you have to make sure that your uh, username is uh, bind in that way. So these are the three important th things. So we are not very much bothered about how do we uh, spin up an EC2 instance, but how do we control the access uh, to the EC2 instance from, from your uh, environment? So it is the port through which we are going to do the SSH. And the other thing is uh, database port, which is 3306. So in case you see some kind of uh, connectivity issue, then you need to check these things only. So we are able to log in now. 
we'll say a C status. This is disabled. Now if we try to log in through the MySQL workbench, we should be able to do that. So what all information is required for us to log into the MySQL workbench, we need the uh, public DNS uh, details. So we got that. We'll create a new connection. So how do we create? So you go to your default uh, page and then you say MySQL connections. There is a plus sign, so you need to click that. Connection name, I have mentioned where I wanted to connect and the host name. The port is 3306. So root will not be able to access because the root is configured to connect from localhost. So let's log in through admin user. Let's store the password. We have entered the password. So let's do the test connection. It is successful. And then we say just OK. Let's do one more thing in this. Added this connection with the added connection. So instead of uh, MySQL uh, admin user, let me give the root user. And let us cross check that root user. We are just checking that use uh, root user should not have the uh, permission to uh, log in from anywhere. So so root is supposed to log in from localhost from the same server. So we are trying to connect from remote server. So let's let's test it out. Let's test the connection. Oh, I did not save the password in vault. So you can say uh, access denied for the user using the password. Yes, but same thing we are able to do using the admin user because admin user is having the access. So you can see that uh, successful successfully made the MySQL connection. Just say OK and you should be able to see the uh, MySQL editor. So this is the one. And from your local system, you are able to connect to the EC instance, which is running your, in your uh, AWS EC2. So this is, this is just the basics of how do we spin up uh, an EC2 instance, which is not at all important. The important part is how do you configure the security group? And in case there are some permission related issues or there are connectivity issues, you need to ensure that the security group is properly configured and uh, the user ID, uh, which is created in uh, MySQL that should have the, the binding with the proper host in case you wanted to connect from everywhere in your environment ensure to make it as percentage i think it is going to help thank you